Hi, everybody. Who is the Adam of religion and does anyone know when or where he lived? We've got some evidence for you that you probably haven't heard before. Stay tuned to find out what that evidence is. For more about getting to the truth about science, religion, or both, make sure you subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell button so you can be notified when I post new videos. Please stay tuned to the end of this video and I'll have a PDF for you that summarizes some of the scientific evidence supporting the Adam of Religion's existence on Earth. So let's talk about Adam, the man who many consider to be the first human, or at the very least the first intellectual human. What image is conjured up in your mind when you think of Adam? Perhaps a painting that you've seen, or an image of a man tempted with an apple. Well, some people say Adam is just a figment of our imagination. In other words, we have to explain how humans showed up on this earth somehow, so we make things up. Part of the reason for this idea that Adam is an imaginary figure is that the age some people propose doesn't agree with the scientific evidence. So does this mean it's all a big lie? Let's take a look at the evidence. A good number of religious leaders and their followers who consider Adam to be the first human being claim to know when Adam first lived on the earth. For example, the time frame of the Adam of religion's existence according to the literal reading of the Old Testament does not exceed 6,000 to 7,000 years. And this time span is strictly adhered to by some people such as the young earth creationists since it is based on what the religious text states. The Bible is considered to be the literal word of God by many who believe in it, whether it contradicts scientific evidence or not. It's important to note, however, that not all people of faith accept this time frame of 6,000 years, and they readily admit that the first human existed on the earth much earlier than that, even if they haven't determined or don't know the exact time of Adam's existence on earth. You might be wondering how they came up with the 6,000 year old earth. Well, it was determined by and is based on adding up the dates that are mentioned in the book of Genesis, tracking the genealogy of Abraham all the way to Adam. Most religious leaders believe that Abraham lived 4,000 years ago, around 2000 BC, so the approximate age of the earth and the time of Adam is given to be 6,000 to 7,000 years ago. Some Sunni scholars also place the time of Adam at around 7,000 years ago, though there are not very many religious accounts of the Sunnis that define this period. They insist that the scientific findings confirming what would be an older Adam of religion as the first intellectual human, much older in fact, conflict with the religious scriptures and therefore should be ignored. So here we have a big discrepancy in the age of humans and it's just one issue that demonstrates why the debate between science and religion has become so heated and why people consider religion and science to be forever incompatible. But is it? Now the fossil evidence that I mentioned, which is based on fossils already discovered, gives us the time span of humans on Earth. What specifically do the fossils tell us? They tell us that the ancient ancestors of humans known as Homo erectus, or the upright man, existed around 1.8 million years ago. His form was like that of a human, and as his name indicates, he walked upright, used fire and hunting tools, and gathered food. However, he was different than our species, the Homo sapiens, in that he had a significantly larger brain size, and he didn't have the same mental capabilities. So if we go way back in time to this human ancestor, Homo erectus, then we're looking at a big time difference, 1.8 million years. And if we consider Adam as the first human, that is the first Homo sapiens or present day human, he couldn't have existed that far back since Homo sapiens didn't exist at the time of Homo erectus. Homo sapiens appeared much later. Keep in mind that Homo erectus and Homo sapiens are different species. Adam, who was a Homo sapiens, would therefore not be from the Homo erectus, who was about 2 million years old, because he couldn't have existed on Earth until the first Homo sapiens existed, and that was no less than 200,000 years ago. Although they are not the same species, Homo erectus is classified as a human ancestor, so he is from the subgroup hominins. 
You can refer to my video about the hominins to learn more about our hominin ancestors. Now, as I mentioned earlier, some people of religion who take the religious texts such as the Old Testament account of creation in Genesis literally say that the earth and age of Adam go back only 6,000 years. Is that even possible? What if we doubled or tripled that number? When did Adam exist? Well, to know this, we first have to go back to the issue of when the first Homo sapiens existed. And we already said it was much more than 6,000 years ago. And that fossil evidence dates the first Homo sapiens existence back to at least 200,000 years. That presents an issue for those who believe in a 6,000 year old Earth or a 6,000 year old Adam. At least 200,000 versus 6 to 7,000 years, that's a difference of 193,000 years, which is a relatively long time span. 200,000 years is a lot longer than 6,000 to 7,000 years. But is that when we say Adam existed around 200,000 years ago, at the time of the first Homo sapiens? We can start at that point and examine the scientific evidence further. Let's review. First, Homo erectus is similar in form to humans, but there are still differences. Homo erectus walked upright, but had a larger brain and less developed mental capabilities and existed 1.8 million years ago. Second, the first fossil evidence of Homo sapiens is from at least 200,000 years ago. So is that when the first atom of religion lived? It actually isn't, but how do we know that it wasn't at least 200,000 years ago? We know this because Homo sapiens remained in Africa for the initial 100,000 years of his first 200,000 years of existence before migrating out of Africa. Homo sapiens existed on Earth at least 200,000 years ago, but he didn't bury his dead until after 100,000 years. And this didn't happen until Homo sapiens migrated out of Africa, although Africa was his original location. So in summary, Homo sapiens has existed for at least 200,000 years. Homo sapiens migrated out of Africa 100,000 years ago. Homo sapiens started burying their dead after migrating out of Africa at least 100,000 years ago. This is some of the scientific evidence that has narrowed the possibility of Adam's existence in terms of his bodily form on this earth down to 100,000 years. But at this point, we have an atom that is 94,000 years older than what many people claim to be the age of Adam, which is 6,000 years. In terms of the age of the religious Adam, we'll get even more specific in the next video when we attempt to narrow it down even further. So please join us for the next video, and thank you for watching. And if you want to join a community of learners just like you, Please join our Facebook group, Rise of Truth, where we talk about science, religion, or both, or any other topics that you might be interested in. Feel free to download the PDF that summarizes our discussion. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.